I want to show you why the sum of the deviations about the mean is always zero. Um, the thing I'm trying to prove here is sum of deviations equals zero. Remember our scores are denoted x. The average or mean is denoted x bar and the deviations are little x which are big x minus x bar. So I have um, 10 scores here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The values of these scores are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If we add those scores up, we have a total sum of x of 65. If we divide 65 by 10, we get the mean, which is 6.5. In this column, I have reproduced the mean each time, so 6.5 is here over and over again. If we add these 6.5s up, we get an, a, a total of 65. Notice that the sum of the mean over and over again is same as the sum of the raw scores. Now, if we take the scores and subtract the mean, first one would be 2 minus 6.5, which give us minus 4.5. When we do that once for each score, we wind up with a sum of 0. And that says that the sum of the deviations from the mean is equal to the sum of x minus x bar is equal to 0. And you might think, well, was this always the case? Yes. So what happens if we take our 11 here and we make it some nice big number like 111. So let's put that in there. The sum of the scores now goes up to 164. The mean becomes 16.4 and now we'll take that and subtract that from each of these. And now we have some nice big deviations here and a really big deviation here and they sum to zero. So here again we've got the sum of the scores is 164 and the sum of the means is 164. Um, if you don't like the numbers, then we can look at uh, algebra. So the sum of the little x is the sum of deviation says the sum of x minus x bar is 0. Remember that the sum of x over n is x bar. So we add up all we got, divide the total by the number we got, and we get the mean. If we just multiply both sides of this by n, that tells us that the sum of x is equal to n times the mean. So up here, we had 16.4 times 10. That's 164. That's n times the mean. Okay, so that's reproduced um, here. The sum of the means is equal to n times the mean, and that's equal to the sum of the raw scores. So by the distributive property, if we take x minus x bar, that's the sum of x minus the sum of x bar. Well, you remember the sum of x bar is the sum of x. So what we get is the sum of x minus the sum of x, and that's 0. So what happens is, when we have extreme scores, let's turn this back to 11. Now we're back to where we were with 65. When we have extreme scores, it's going to move the mean around so it's right in the balancing point where the deviations, um, the plus and the minus deviations will balance out. So let's turn this one to 33 and see what happens. Okay, then our mean comes up to 95. I mean, I'm sorry, our sum comes up to 95. Our mean is 9.5. And we have a big deviation here and everybody else is just about as negative to balance out and we get a sum of deviations of zero and that's why the sum of deviations from the mean is always zero.